so in this video I'll show how I replace my SSD drive and my battery as well on my Asus laptop now I bought this laptop around 2012 so it's like around um, five and a half years now and it is pretty slow so what I did is I reformatted Windows completely and I just reinstalled the software that I just need now S SketchUp is one of those which I regularly use and this takes around 19 seconds to load now it used to take close to a minute before I reformatted my uh, hard disk so here I'm just writing in some stats so that I can do a comparison on how it is on the current hard disk when compared to the new SSD drive so Excel currently takes around 6 or 4 seconds to load so which is kind of alright so before you do make sure you have your SSD drive with you and then download some partition software in my case I use a partition wizard from mini 2 it's a very popular tool and the current version is 10.2 so download that and if you're watching this in the future the version could be different so do your own research and all that so once you've installed partition wizard just open it up the first option and here it would show you all your disk drives your main ones and your hidden ones as well so you can see your C drive D drive recovery and the whole lot so this is how it looks and the one which I bought is from Amazon and it's from a brand called crucial MX 500 500 GB SSD drive so out of the box it looks a bit cheap to be honest but it does the job and it's got a brilliant amount of reviews in Amazon I'll leave a link in the description below so to connect this to the laptop you need this SATA to USB adapter so in my case I have a USB 2 ports so I, I need the two ports where one powers the drive and the other one is used for data transfer so connect the drives in like that and open up your mini tool partition wizard so you, you need to refresh it and now I'll just zoom in and uh, do the recording on the laptop itself so that it's a bit more clear you can see what I'm trying to do so as I said refresh and then you'll see your disk 2 over here which is unallocated and you can see the 500 GB or close to 500 GB over there so now click on migrate OS to SSD option which brings you the screen select the first option that is you would like to replace your system disk with another hard disk and choose your destination file as disk 2 and once you do disk 2 select the first option which is fit partition to entire disk the software will take care of what you need to do so click on next and then on the screen over here you will see that it's mirrored your existing drive now click on apply changes and that's when the whole fun starts so now I'm zooming it back to my camera because I know that this is going to restart the machine and I'm going to lose the recording footage so the software does what it needs to do I'll just open up the battery replacement box as well so this comes from China and it's around 15 quid or so it's cheap and inexpensive so make sure it's the same wattage now back to partition wizard is asking me to restart the machine because the C drive is in use go for it it's all the normal process and once you do that windows will shut down and when it restarts it will start copying the data from your local uh, HDD to your SSD drive this takes a lot of time it, uh, in my case I guess it took around 35 or 40 minutes so just let it run and do what you need to do so forwarding the video back uh, the machine is now booted up and it has copied or replicated your hard disk to your SSD drive now a quick check over here you can see that it's just a mirror image so what we'll do next is we'll shut down the PC we got our SSD copied we'll open up the laptop and install the new drive there and the new battery as well flip your laptop over so most models will be kind of similar but if yours is different just uh, look around in YouTube or Google it up in this case in this Asus 551C there are nine screws over here 
so make sure you take a photo of your uh, the screws in the same layout the reason being that every screw is different in my case four of them over there are all the same size which is longer the ones on the front are the shorter ones and the one near the hinges of the lid are the medium size ones so that's why you need to take a photo next use a small thin screwdriver and try and open it up so it's held against each other by small latches and you'll hear this kind of satisfying pop sound and make sure you just run your screwdriver over here or any uh, flat surface like a credit card or so you may end up scratching it but again uh, use the proper tool if you want to the entire keyboard right is held on to the motherboard by around three cables I thought that I will just try and remove it without removing the cables but later on in the video you'll see that I, I will uh, uh, remove them so that's where the battery is so gently remove it out and you have to do this before you touch any electronics and that's the screw for the SSD drive or rather the hard disk so unscrew it again it's got Phillips screws and make sure you put the screws in the right place so that you don't risk using the wrong screw in the wrong place when you come to put it all back in again so here I removed the cables and I have a closer video when I'm putting it back up so that uh, you would know where to slide the cables back in it's held by four screws over here and this uh, chassis holds the current hard disk so you just need to remove it and there are four more screws holding it uh, tight onto the chassis so remove the hard disk and there's a small sticker in this case pull it back out and make sure you note the alignment because when you put your SSD drive back in it needs to go in the same way like your hard disk and that's a comparison it's all the same size the same ports and the same connectors so put it back on the chassis and screw up the four tiny screws back in again with all these kind of things right make sure you just screw it tight you don't need to over tighten it in case you make a mistake or you run the risk of removing the threads on the screw so with that the your disk is now replaced and it will be running on SSD now the next thing is to connect the keyboard back in so that's a keyboard cable and the shorter one is the one for the trackpad so I'll move my camera angle a bit more closer so there it is you just slide it in and with a white lip on top of the connector push it back in so that it uh, it hits it sits snugly in place that's a trackpad cable again push it in and with a white lip pull it towards the keyboard then give it a gentle tug to make sure that it's all in place now with the drive fit the next thing is your battery so that's a replacement battery which I got from eBay and the one on the top is the Asus one so it's a 14.4 uh, ampere oh sorry volt 2.6 milliampere one so it rates at 37.4 watt hour which is the same as the original battery make sure the connectors go in the right place so the connectors on this laptop are on the left hand side so push that bit in first and just slide it in now with that done just click it in place and you'll hear the distinct click where the two lids are connecting to each other and now it's time to do your final touches over here and then make sure you put the screws back in the same place like how we removed it so as I said again in this case the four big screws are the one in the back over here and in the middle
So let's start this PC up now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, uh, recently eight seconds to load up, but this is the first time it's booting up on this new hard disk, so it probably would take that much time. So before we do anything, let's have a look at the battery. I want to see if it's been installed properly. So it is showing 5% charge left on the battery. And that's more or less what they said in the literature that it will be between 5 and 8%. So what I'll do is I'll let it charge to 100% and then drain the battery down again back to around 8% and then charge it back up again. They recommend to do it two or three times and I think that's to get the new battery stats back in. So let's now open Windows Explorer and see how much time it takes. One, okay, that's fast. It took just one second. Now let's open Excel. Okay, one, two, okay, that is really good. Two seconds to load that up. So if you remember, SketchUp took 19 seconds when I, we were on HDD. So let's click on it now. Okay, one, two, wow, two seconds. It took just two seconds to load SketchUp when previously it took 19 seconds. So here I'm going to run some WinSat command to check the performance. So obviously the memory performance is still the same like what I had before. But what's interesting is the disk read write speed. So you can see that the sequential and random speeds are now in the region of 500 megabits per second. Previously it used to be 180. So that in itself is around 3 times more performance. Okay, so that's it from me in this video. So if you like it, do give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.